Zach Gallen gets set to face the team he grew up a big fan of when he was a youngster outside the Philadelphia area, the St. Louis Cardinals, and the team that drafted him. Zach Gallen uh, loves pitching here at Chase Field. We know that. A perfect 2 0 with an ERA of 0.82. As a matter of fact, over the course of his last three seasons, he has as many home wins as anybody in Major League Baseball with 20. Sky's the first one to center. Easy play for Corbin Carroll. And it's one pitch, one out for Zach Gallen with a fastball. Big cheer for Paul Goldschmidt, who's back in the desert. Goldie three for nine in the series. Foul tip. Tucker Barnhart back there hangs on, and Gallen gets his first strikeout. And there are two outs as Gallen picks up strikeout number one. Looking for a quick one, two, three first right here. Zach Gallen, two strikeouts, rolling along, and guess what? A curveball got in that final out. Diamondbacks coming up against Miles Michaelis. This season, one and two record with a 4.76 ERA. In his career, he's been quite good actually against the D-backs. Five games, he's got a 2.10 ERA and a 0.94 whip. That one scorched toward left center. Siani on the run, got a great jump, and he makes the grab two steps onto the warning track. This one squibbed to the left side. Arenado's got it. He takes care of Corbin Carroll quickly. Two up and two men down. Lourdes Gurriel Jr. This guy's hot. A seven game hitting streak, 11 for 30. A double. He had a three run homer last night. And he hits a breaking ball to third. Picked on a hop. Arenado throws out Gurriel. The count favored Gurriel there, but another good pitch by Miles Michaelis. No score after one. Nolan Arenado will lead off. For St. Louis. And that one stroke toward right center. Carroll on the run, still going, won't get it. That'll bounce to the 413 sign. And Nolan Arenado with some opposite field power leads off the second with a double. And the Cardinals in business to begin the second. Runners in scoring position. Okay, two for ten yesterday, as you mentioned. The Cardinals batting 195 as a team. Swing and a miss. There's the curveball, and Gallon gets his third strikeout. He's punched out now. I mean, that just felt like one guy taking another guy's lunch money. And the Cardinals have them loaded with one out. And Brandon Crawford getting a start. The bad news for Gallon is he's got the bases full and one out. The good news is eight and nine are coming up for St. Louis. 3 2. Called strike three. A fastball at the knees. And Zach delivered big time for his fourth strikeout. So it's up to Michael Ciani to cash in this first scoring chance. The 1 0. And Siani grounds it to first. There's Walker into the glove. It goes. He takes it to the back himself. And even though the Cardinals load up the bases, they do not score. Walk to Brendan Donovan. So a good start for the Cardinals here in the third inning. And Goldie will bat. Gallon ready. He throws. And a swing and a ground ball to short. Alexander has it. Tosses to Marte at second. Marte to Walker. That's a double play. Well, you know, Candy, in order to be a great pitcher, you got to get yourself out of the trouble you put yourself in. Gorman gets a two-out hit and prolongs the inning for Nolan Arenado. And he gets a strikeout, swing and a miss on a curveball in the dirt. It is Barnhart who applies the tag, and the inning is over. So, Gallon gets his fifth strikeout. The Cardinals strand one. Jake McCarthy is next for Arizona. He's their seventh place hitter. And Michaelis gets strike three at the belt. McCarthy jackknifed out of the way, but Miles shaves off a corner for his first strikeout. Two out, nobody on. Pitching's been good so far, and it's Tucker Barnhart. Pitch number 34 coming up for Miles, and that's a called strike three. And Tucker Barnhart doesn't like that call, but he did the same thing. He threw that two-seamer that came back over the inside corner. And two strikeouts in the inning. He's faced the minimum through three. And it'll be Wilson Contreras to lead it off for St. Louis. And he hammers it inside the third base bag, and that's going to go to the corner. And a good start for the Cardinals here in the fourth inning. That's the second St. Louis double of the game. Now we got to score a run. Got to take advantage of these opportunities. Runner third, one out. Yvonne Herrera has an opportunity to drive in the game's first run. Tucker Barnhart hangs on to the foul tip. Gavin uh, Gallon goes back to the curveball and gets his sixth strikeout. Now the defense on the infield can sag back. Here is the shortstop Crawford. He came up with the bases loaded, one out his first time up, and he struck out then. First pitch swinging, he pops it up on the infield. It is the second baseman, Marte, who makes the catch, and the inning is over. So another job well done by Gallen. Could tell Marte set to lead off the fourth. That's our Budweiser, what's on tap as Goldie makes a good play at first base. 
hit it to the wrong guy that time. Goldschmidt still, you know, flashing that leather. There's two away. The one-two pitch is a swing and a miss. He took something off on that. And that is three strikeouts for Miles Michaelis. He's put four zeros on the board. Unfortunately, so has Zach Gallen. We two up and two down. And here is Goldschmidt. And here comes the 3-2. Swing and a ball hit well, center field. Long run, Carroll, and makes the catch on the run. Had to bust hard to his right. And Gallon gets a much needed 1 2 3 inning. Miles Michaelis, the veteran right hander for the Cardinals, has set down eight consecutive batters. Trying to get something going offensively. Walker pokes it into right center. Christian two for two. Doc getting a start at DH. Lined out to second his first time. Base hit. That roll down the line. Walker takes the turn and heads for third. Newtbar's got it in the corner. And Peterson has the stand-up double. Good start to the fifth. And the batter is Jace Peterson, who hit into a double play his first time up. Diamondbacks for the first time today. Up there with a runner in scoring position. Carves it out the other way. Donovan in left. Here comes Walker, going to try and score. The throw is offline. Safe! Hit first dive by Walker. He scores, it's one to nothing Diamondbacks. Michaelis' stuff really not quite as sharp as it had been earlier. Jake McCarthy now. Doc Peterson still down there at second. McCarthy to right. That's in there for a hit. They're going to wave Jock. He's coming around. McCarthy into second. And he's got the RBI double. Two nothing stakes in the bottom of the fifth. Ball four high and Marte will bat. The first walk for Michaelis. It is not a strike. Back to back two out walks have loaded the bases for Corbin Carroll. Here comes Oliver Marvel. A long inning ends the day early for Miles Michaelis. He got no run support. He's given up two so far. That's kind of odd that uh, Ollie Marvel goes with a right hander against Corbin Carroll, but there's a reason for that. It usually is, right? Corbin first pitch swing and base hit. McCarthy's home. Here comes Barnhart. The throw from Newt Barr is offline, and Tucker's home. It's 4 0. Corbin Carroll drives in two more. Corbin takes off. No throw, and he's in there standing up. Chance to bust this thing open right here. Here's a 2 0 pitch. And Guriel takes in the dirt, skips away from Herrera. Marte scores, and it's now 5 0 as the Cardinals are coming undone in this fifth. And we go to the sixth. D-backs five, Cardinals nothing. Three, four, five hitters. This is where you really need that shutdown inning. One, two. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. And ahead in the count can. He went to a curve out of the zone. It paid off brilliantly. For out number two, Contreras, the DH, like Arenado, one for two with a double and a strikeout. Contreras swings, lifts it in the air, right center field. Long, long run for Carroll. And oh, my gosh, the catch is made. But McCarthy and Carroll nearly collide into one another. He seems to be all right. The inning is over, and it is a 1-2-3, six inning for St. Louis. And all smiles for Zach Gallen, and why not? Six scoreless innings. He gave up just four hits, walked two, and had seven strikeouts. Just going to throw this out there for what it's worth. Take it with a grain of salt. Paul Goldschmidt, 36 years old. He'll be 37 in September. Is this his final chase field at bat? Short right, Jake McCarthy coming in. Well, if indeed that was Goldie's last at bat at Chase Field, we want to thank him for all the thrills he gave Diamondbacks fans over the years when he was a member of the D-backs. Here's Gorman, one for three. Now there's a swing and a fly ball into left field. Right to Gurriel, who comes in and makes the catch. And that'll do it for the Cardinals in the top of the eighth inning. And last man standing for St. Louis. Mars Newtbar, who has walked twice. Marte, what a play, oh. Cattell. Ball game. Cattell Marte finishes off with a flourish. And the Diamondbacks get a series win over the Cardinals. They get back to 500 on the year.